So we often talk about the parasympathetic nervous system when we talk about cold therapy. But what exactly is that and what does it do? As always, guys, massive shout out to my research team and let's go ahead and get into it. The parasympathetic nervous system is a network of nerves that relaxes your body after periods of stress or danger. It also helps run life-sustaining processes like digestion during times when you feel safe and relaxed. The informal descriptions of this system include the rhymes rest and digest or feed and breed versus fight or flight. The biggest nerve is part of the parasympathetic nervous system, which connects to part of your mouth and also extends down, down through your neck to your chest and abdomen. Your vagus nerve makes up about 75% of your parasympathetic nervous system overall, connecting to your heart, lung, and other vital internal organs. Parasympathetic nervous system is also a key part of your body's long-term survival. It's just, this system constantly works without you knowing it, whether you're asleep or awake. It helps you relax in, in times of calm and provides a balance with your body's short-term survival responses. Ego, fight or flight, especially once you're getting into an ice bath. While the conditions that affect it are rare, it's still important that we protect it. So essentially, once you get into the cold water, your parasympathetic nervous system goes into response because your entire system goes into fight or flight, and your parasympathetic nervous system kicks in to help combat that fight or flight stress. One of the problems we find is that we are in chronic stress from our jobs, our life in general, um, the food we eat, the things we watch on television, all these things cause psychological stress, which can send our nervous system into overdrive. And if we're not doing anything to help combat these stressors, then we're constantly going to keep our body in a you know, unbalanced state. Too much chronic stress over time can really, really do a lot of damage to your systems. Well, we found that the vagus activation, the vagus nerve activates with cold therapy. This also triggers brown fat, which we've already talked about in a previous video. Um, and basically just helps your body overcome the fight or flight, calm down, and deal with stress better overall. One study found that methods that biologically prevent the stress system from deregulating during acute stress and thus might prevent the development of chronic stress in the first place, would be of great importance, but are still underexplored. One promising approach might be given by directly stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, which again, is something that happens when we go into a cold plunge. Stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system before an acute stressor may lead to a reduced stress response overall, thus helping to recover better from the stressful situation. So oftentimes we're given the advice not to cold plunge when we're stressed, um, which in my opinion is terrible advice anyway. But what this is saying is if you have a stressful day coming up or you know that the day's gonna be stressful, you've got a hard deadline at work or you've got a big case coming up or something like that, doing an ice bath in the morning before you go to, to your job could help you deal with the stress throughout the day a lot better because it's activating that parasympathetic nervous system already. One of the ways they tested this was by uh, putting your face in cold water. What they found is that there's nerves in your face that can also help tr trigger the vagus nerve, which is one of the reasons that we always say you should do a head nook or at least splash the cold water on your face. Uh, this is also called the diving response. So diving response induced parasympathetic activation causes bradycardia and reduces blood flow to the limbs while mean arterial pressure is slowly increasing. A simplified and more obtruse way of triggering the diving response is given by the cold face test, where a cold stimulus is applied to the face, which also stimulates the trigeminal vagal reflex arc in healthy individuals in a similar way as a diving response. Researchers have been using this response as a supportive measure in the diagnosis and research of neurological diseases affecting the autonomous nervous system. So it is being looked into, just not in the way that we uh, would normally think of. So because cold baths activate the fight or flight response in a more primal way, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. It helps us handle modern triggers and modern stressors, such as our job, traffic, things like that. And this is why a lot of times you'll find high stress individuals like lawyers, doctors, etc., doing cold therapy because they have found that it does help them deal with stress a lot better. Um, now, of course, it's not going to be an instant theme. There is a lot of mental and emotional work that goes behind uh, using cold therapy as stress reduction, but the parasympathetic nervous system starts off as being a involuntary and passive way to deal with stress. And of course, when we talk about mental and emotional healing and dealing with stress, we cannot help but talk about ice wellness. Our mantras are specifically designed to help you get out of your head, fight through the fight or flight a lot faster, get that parasympathetic nervous system activated quicker, reach that restful state, and actually enjoy your ice bath. 